Hi kids! This is Miss Angel Carbillan or Teacher Angel. Today's lesson will be about numbers 0 to 10. We will be reviewing how to read, write, count numbers and symbols and words, and how to arrange and compare numbers. Are you ready? Great! Let's start! Now look at the basket. Can you see or do you see any object in the basket? Right, there's nothing in the basket. So what number represents nothing? Yes, it's zero. And the number word for that is this. Zero. Z-E-R-O. Zero. Okay. Now what number is next after zero? Yeah, one. Now look, there is only one flower. One blue flower. So that's how we write one in words one in symbol now count the next flowers next number of flowers can you count with me one two there are two red flowers correct and that's the symbol very good now what number is next after two great i know what's on your mind let's see if it's correct count the number of parts count with me one two and three right three is next right after two is three that's correct that's the symbol for three what about after three great i know you have the answer in your mind also now count the diamonds with me one two three and four Oops, there's no more so there are only four diamonds so you are right after three is four. So that's how we write four, F-O-U-R. And the symbol is this. Good job, I'm giving you a star for now. All right, okay. Now, what's after four? Yes, five, let's count the number of cones. One, two, three, four, five. There are five cones. And you write it at F I V E five. Number five. Correct. What's next after five? What's next? Yes, it's six. Let's count the shirts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great job. It's number six. Okay, think again of the next number. Right. It's number seven. Let's count the number of tanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven bags. There are seven blue bags. So that's how we write seven. It's S E V E N. Seven. Symbol is seven. Okay. What's next after seven? It's my favorite number. Yeah, it's my favorite number. Okay. Let's count this one. Let's count the sharpeners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yes, that's my favorite number. It's eight. Okay, what's next after eight? They said it's also a lucky number. All right. Okay, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine crayons. And we write it as this. N I N E. That's the spelling for number nine. Nine crayons. Okay, and of course, after nine is this one. What do you think? Yes, let's count this. Circles, blue circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's right. Good job. It's number ten. So you are already very good at counting and reading numbers in symbols and in words. Now let's put that into practice by answering problems or word problems. Let's try problem number one. I am a number that comes right after nine. What number am I? Okay, think of the answer. Okay, good job. I think you have an answer already. Now look at the caterpillar there are numbers written on it right so look we say before 
the numbers are going to the left and after the numbers are going to the right so from left to right after before after so look at number nine what number comes right after nine yes that's correct it's ten very good how about this problem I am a number that comes right before five now look at caterpillar again and numbers going there is before numbers going there after so look at number five what number comes before five yeah right it's four very good i'm giving you two stars for getting the correct answers good job children okay now let's try to compare numbers do you still remember mr alligator okay very good and what do we use what symbols we use for comparing numbers yes we use greater than less than and equal sign remember the mouth of mr alligator is facing towards the bigger amount and then less than and then if they are the same we use equal sign okay very good now let's do problem number three. Lizzie has seven oranges. Kelly has five oranges. Who has more oranges? Okay, think, think, think. All right, so let's see. Seven and five, that's Lizzie. Seven oranges and Kelly, look at the number of oranges. Yay, Lizzie has more oranges good job i know you got it right okay are you ready for the next problem yes i like that you are very good and very participative now look at problem number four misty baked four cookies kali baked four cookies who baked four cookies look at misty he baked she baked four cookies and kali all right now who baked more cookies think okay very good they are the same so nobody baked more but they baked the same number of cookies that's right very good. now let's have another problem miss anna gave five stickers miss linda gave eight stickers who gave lesser stickers this time who gave lesser stickers okay miss anna and that's miss linda who gave lesser fewer okay that's right it's miss anna gave it's miss linda has greater miss anna has lesser stickers very good okay now you're good at comparing two numbers what about well, how do we compare two or more numbers Yes, we use least, greatest, smallest, biggest. Yes, that's right. So we have two different ways on how to compare numbers. We use ascending order. When you say ascending order, it's from smallest to largest or from least to greatest. From the word ascending order, ah, ah, that's your clue, ah, up. Up, going up, ascending order. And the opposite is the other way. From greatest to least, going down. The numbers are getting smaller. The values are getting smaller. So we call it descending order. D down, going down from the biggest number, going to the smallest number. All right, let's practice. Okay, let's try this given numbers to arrange it from arrange them from least to greatest what comes first what's the least number great it's two after two greater number after two is five and the greatest number is nine good job now let's have another one try this arrange these numbers from greatest to least okay which number should go first Correct, it's 10. And lesser than 7. Lesser than 10 means 7. And then the least number is 0. 
Okay, now let's go back also to what is one more than and one less than. What do you mean by that? Okay, let's have another problem. What number is one less than eight? So look at this. We have eight triangles, a warning triangle sign. So it's one less than eight. One less than. The meaning, what's the meaning of one less than teacher? Okay, we will take away, we will remove one from the group. One triangle from the from eight triangles. So how many? How many are left? Great. There are seven. So one less than eight means seven. Okay, there are eight fingers. Look at my fingers. And then one less, you remove one finger. So count the fingers that you have now. It's seven. Right? Okay. How about this? What number is one less than six? So look at your six fingers and remove one finger take away or meaning fold one don't remove your finger okay i mean rem fold one finger so how many fingers do you have yeah right it's five very good so there let's say we have six cupcakes okay and then we take away one cupcake and how many cupcakes are left yes there are five so that's the meaning of one less than a number how about this one what number is one more than eight so we have eight cats and we will be adding one more cat so how many cats are there in four all so eight cats one more than eight so eight what's next after eight when you count last one yes it's nine very good so there are nine cats all right there's another problem problem number eight what number is one more than three so you have three fingers and then another one finger how many fingers are there okay i know you got it right like three dogs and add another one dog there are four very good all right now i think you are very good at comparing numbers now so i'd like you to answer this one and practice get a paper and a pen or a pencil and try to answer these questions okay also answer this problem all right so i think that's all for today kids i hope that you enjoyed our session for today and for the answers for this i'll be showing you in our next video all right thank you for listening god bless you all if you like the video don't forget to click subscribe for more videos and like the video as well goodbye and god bless you all see you